always enjoyed making things. In fact, if, if I had my, my preference, I would always be making something. I would like to know about everything and be able to make anything that could be made, which is more and more impossible all the time. I have done many experiments over the years in order to make every aspect of the instrument the best it can possibly be. I'm Tom Ellis. I'm a mandolin maker. I've been doing it, uh, started in 1972, building my first mandolin uh, after I got out of high school. And when I graduated from college in 1977, I moved here to Austin, hung out my shingle and started building mandolins professionally, not knowing anything about what was involved. Uh, but it's been pretty good since. I've always uh, enjoyed woodworking. My dad had a shop where he would do all sorts of things. And I really liked making things out of wood. I took a uh, wood shop in junior high school, and then I took wood shop in high school and built different kinds of things than anybody else built. They were all building spice racks. And, <laughs> and I built a water ski and speaker cabinets. I always loved the mandolin. And then I, I totally fell in love with it and decided that's what I wanted to build. I was a custom builder and shared the shop with Bill Collings from 80 to 86, where he custom built guitars and I custom built mandolins and banjos. And it went along pretty good, but the late 80s got real tough. It was harder and harder to make a living. I had three kids. That was the time that I gave up building instruments and went into the pearl inlay business. We have certainly as, as high-tech a manufacturing system for mandolins as anyone has, though there's only two or three people who have a system at all. Even with that, there is still a tremendous amount of handwork because machines just make parts. Pava Kanicevich is the lady who builds with me. She's from Croatia. She built mandolins for Collings. And then she went to work for a furniture restoration place. And then she came to me to work here, and it was we were just doing pearl inlays, and she looked around and she says, where are mandolins? And I said, oh, I don't build mandolins anymore. I used to. She said, well, we should build mandolins. I like it hard jobs. It's like, I like to do biting. I like to do also inlay. I like to do everything. <laughs> I was already starting to think about it. It really required somebody very competent to help because I knew what I knew what was involved. I knew how much work it was to start it up. So I uh, decided to uh, get back into mandolins and have built uh, almost about 250 of them since I started back seven years ago but doing it in an entirely different way than I used to do it in the past. The wood we use for the mandolins is Adirondack red spruce and sugar maple from Pennsylvania, usually. Sometimes we use red maple or big leaf maple. And I have actually built several mandolins out of wood that customers sent me, too. I'm happy to do that if, if I think the wood is nice wood. I do all of the uh, top voicing and graduating and installing of tone bars on the tops and graduate the backs. And then I do all of the neck shaping and final setup work. Pava does all the assembly, binding, sanding, and parts making. She also can run the machines for the programmed parts. We have been wanting to come out with a, a lower priced instrument. So we decided to come out with an A model mandolin that's called the Pava.
pretty excited about the, the new line of pavas. They're half the price of mine, but it's essentially the same mandolin. And we are building them together basically the same way we have been building the Ellis mandolins. Last September I started new mandolins with the name Pava A style. And I'm right now doing number 12. <laughs> It's pretty cool and it's amazing. It's like, I believe nobody don't be giving me opportunity for do that, that like Tom did. It's like. I've been here since 1977. I really like it here. It's, it's close to town, but I've got a country feel. It's a, it's an old farmhouse that was uh, the original farmhouse for this property. I have really good help here and they're all experts. So we have a very nice system where everybody is very valued. It works really well. It's the best crew I could ever imagine. Everybody gets along really good and I like the fact that the business is small enough to where everybody is in touch with the fact that we work for our customers. It's a good group of people is, I will say, here like family. Tom's best teacher. <laughs> it's like he's really show us everything. I've always enjoyed making functional things. And there are many things I would, I'd like to build a boat, I'd like to build a rifle, I'd like to build an airplane. So there's still more to come. Mm -hmm.